Hola, buenas. We are going to talk about a rather touchy but current topic today. I'd like to address a few things and I think things are being mediated from a very shallow perspective. The narrative at the moment is that tourists are coming to Spain and due to Airbnb prices are outpricing the locals. Therefore, they are having to move from where they currently live. Now, I'll preface this by saying that I empathize with these people, but Spain is not the only place in the world dealing with a clear housing crisis. Something needs to be done. I don't think the tourists are to blame. It hasn't just been an issue for tourists, however. It is also immigrants, such as myself, coming to Spain. I was on the bus the other day having a conversation in English and an elderly woman asked me, what am I doing here in Spain? Based on the tone, I could see the direction of where this was going. She wasn't going to wish me a wonderful day and get on with her day. I pretended not to understand her when she spoke in Spanish in order to attempt to avoid a conflict. You you are not welcome here, is what she said to me in English, as if it wasn't clear enough. I just laughed it off, but truly, how stupid can you be to think I'm the problem? I pay my taxes, I follow the laws, I have just as much right to be here as the next person. Now, I get it. There are a few Brits here in Spain that are hooligans and are causing issues. And to them, I say they are a problem that should be taken seriously. I definitely agree on that one. I can only apologize for their behavior, but we can't all be painted with the same brush. This hatred for all giddies is absurd. We're just as diverse as the wonderful Spanish people I meet in this incredible country. Before I continue, I'd like to say, of course, that I know this isn't the view of all Spanish people and the conversations that are being had are incredibly complex. I'm just saying that the anger shouldn't be directed at foreigners and instead somewhere else. But we'll get to that in a bit. I had the pleasure of going to Valencia recently and saw a lot of graffiti telling foreigners to go home. It's honestly insane. Spain is the amazing place it is today because of the diversity within it. And let's be fair here, the European Union has provided the funding to get the infrastructure up to scratch, not necessarily solely from the Spanish taxpayers, which once again, I am part of. Telling foreigners to go home after contributing to a society they helped build is just illogical. I honestly can't think of anything worse if all the tourists decided, you know what? Spain just isn't the friendly country I thought it was. This year, instead, I'm going to book somewhere else. Tourism is a big contribution to GDP here in Spain. It has been for many years and it continues to be so. So I have spoken about the tourism side a little bit, but I wish to mention the foreigners living here, such as myself. The greatest cities in Europe are so great because of the diversity of people from all around the world. No exception. London is a powerhouse because of the contributions of many people from many different backgrounds and ethnicities. People move and contribute. That's how things are. I think blaming the situation on tourists and foreigners is a shallow point of view. Now, I'm no politician. This is not a political channel. And really, I'm only mentioning it because I have experienced toxic behavior and comments aimed towards me. And quite frankly, I've had enough of it. But I'd like to offer my thoughts on how this mess could be resolved. It comes down to the government. Who should be making laws for Airbnb and hotels? I have seen that this has started to take effect in some some regions of the country, and this is great. But really, I think Airbnb is actually quite progressive. It's the hotels that also need to change. The reason people book Airbnb is because it's more affordable than booking a hotel. If the hotel prices weren't so high, people would happily just book a hotel because it's too expensive. It's not that I disagree with limitations on Airbnb. It's that I believe hotels also have a part to play in this. Airbnb are the prices that they are because they are undercutting the hotel. If the hotels were to be competitive, they would also reduce their prices, right? But they don't. Can we also point out that the landlords of the Airbnbs are typically Spanish? But that doesn't fit the narrative, does it? So it never gets mentioned. In the end, Spain has enough space. It's a big country, especially when compared with the UK, for example. I just think that it needs to be managed better. If you want to see overcrowded places, go to London. It's madness. It's a whole different issue, but you've got three bedroom houses for like 800 thousand pounds. Absolute lunacy. I believe it's unfair on tourists and foreigners to be blamed for the current housing situation here in Spain. And I wanted to give my perspective on this and hope to see a good outcome for everyone. I love Spain. I'm proud to say I live here and I want the best for it. I appreciate that this was a bit of an intense topic today, but I think it had to be said, especially from a different perspective that is shown in the media. If you disagree with me, leave a comment letting me know why and what you would do to improve 
improve the current situation. If you agree with me, I appreciate the support. And if you didn't even know this was an issue right now, feel free to get involved in the comment section too. Let's keep this as respectful as possible as always. I love having debates with you guys in the comments. So please, as I say, it's an open debate. Say what you want and we can have a discussion about it. Thanks for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, or if you're voting Vox, feel free to hit that dislike button and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.